Hey everybody, this is Coach D with TackleTrading.com here to talk to you about the Black-Scholes model, which is the options pricing model. Now the Black-Scholes model is a mathematical model of price variation over time of a financial instrument, such as a stock or ETFs, that can be used to determine the price of an option. The Black-Scholes model formula is pretty complex and it's the first widely accepted model for options pricing. It's used to calculate the theoretical value of options using current stock prices, expected dividends, the option strike price, uh, expected interest rates, and then the time to expiration and expected volatility. So there's a lot of variables in there. The Black-Scholes model was first published in the Journal of Political Economy under the title The Pricing of Options and Corporate Liabilities by Fisher, Black, and Myron Scholes. And the formula was later expanded upon in the theory of rational option pricing by Robert Merton in 1973. And, ladies and gentlemen, they did win a Nobel Prize in economics for their uh, work. Now, that options pricing model, again, is a pretty fancy calculus. Uh, the Black-Scholes model, it's sometimes also referred to as the Black-Scholes-Merton uh, model. And when you look at it, the, the math is gonna, uh, it's going to measure all the variables. It's going to measure the, the variable of the stock price moving up or down. So that's what we call the direction, up or down. That's what we refer to as the variable of delta. The time decay, the amount of time until expiration and the rate of time decay is known as the variable of theta, which is, again, T for theta, T for time, a little memory hook for you. V is for vega, that is the measure of the implied volatility. So if the expectation of volatility goes up, the option premium goes up. If the expectation of volatility goes down, the option premium goes down. Uh, gamma is the rate of change of delta. It's how, as the stock price moves up or down, it's how quickly the delta on the options strike prices change. You're gonna wanna check out our video on the entire Greeks uh, so you can get a good look at each one of those Greeks and understand them. So watch for that video. And uh, you got the rho, which is a which is a measure of the risk-free interest rates, and all that, all of those variables, along with a handful of other fancy math calculations, go into that Black-Scholes model. And every option has these variables uh, that we're working on the, the the price model to spit out what the value of the option would be. So here you can see some Apple call options for April. And you can see that there's a delta variable, a gamma variable. It's got a, a variable for theta, the rate of the time decay. And it's got a measure of the volatility. And all of those variables are what are going into the bid asks there, uh, coupled with supply and demand for those contracts. And you'll also see the delta, the gamma, the theta, and the vega variables on the put options. Again, those are the that's how sensitive those option premiums are going to be to the changes in those variables in the direction of the price up or down, in the you know how quickly that rate of change occurs, in the time and the amount of time until expiration, and the rate of decay of that time, and again shifts in volatility. All of these variables again pumped into this option pricing model. And so all of those variables, the Black-Scholes model, the Vega, the Theta, the Gamma, the Rho, the Delta, the stock price, again, all of those go into uh, the calculation and it spits out the options value. And that's how we know what the current market value is when we go to buy and sell those options, which again are derivatives of the underlying assets. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Black-Scholes model. And when you start trading options, you'll clearly understand why this fancy math model did end up winning the Nobel Prize in economics.